Hello, this is Christy. I have received a question from one of my viewers about how to create a pattern in Zara Designer Pro. I assume it's a, re a repeating pattern that you can use to fill an object with it and make it, uh, you know, repeat and kind of fill the whole the whole object. So it's really not very difficult to do this in Zara. And I'm going to demonstrate using a very simple pattern. So let's say that you want to fill an object, maybe a rectangle, with a repeating pattern. We're going to make this object gray at the moment and set it aside. Let's make it smaller. So I'm going to create a simple pattern with which I'm going to give you an example of how to do this. And then you'll figure out it's very easy and you're going to do it by yourself. But here it is. Let's create a simple checkered pattern. So I'm going to take another rectangle here. Hold down the uh, control key to make it a perfect rectangle. And I'm going to make this black. Then control alt D. I'm going to duplicate it and put it in the corner. So the idea is you need to think about your pattern as a repeating pattern. So usually they design these things that need to repeat in a seamless way in a square. And then they just repeat it and it you know, it appears multiple times and you don't know exactly where it starts and where it ends. So this is my example pattern here. And therefore, my pattern with two squares, actually, you know, if you think about it, you need to make another square. Let's make it purple for, for the moment and put everything inside of this second, third square. So, yeah, you know, light blue, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. But you see it's a it's a square and it will repeat. So now the very simple and important step, I'm making the square white because I don't want it to be seen. So we have the two checker, the uh, the two black ones, select everything. And in Zara, you can use a bitmap to fill an object. But this one is not a bitmap. It's a vector object. So I need to convert it to a, a bitmap in order to be able to fill other objects with it using the fill tool. So what I'm doing here, I'm right clicking on my object. I'm selecting the whole thing, not just the, you know, not just the top or bottom, just select the whole thing and right click and select create bitmap copy. There is a dialog here that opens up and uh, it's asking you what type of bitmap do you want it to be PNG. Because it's PNG, you can have alpha, which is a transparency. If you need to put this, make this ma uh, bitmap have transparency in it so that you can see other objects through it, or you can just leave it, you know, since I've, I've done it white in the background, there's background is white here because I put the third square in there. There is nothing to be made transparent anyway. So this is just for examples. And you see one other thing here. The size is 173 by 173 pixels. So that's pretty small. So depending on um, the quality that you want for your pattern. So if you're going to print this, let's say you want to fill some objects with this pattern and you're going to print it on A3 paper or whatever, um, then you maybe want to make it a much larger quality bitmap. So you can go to the bitmap size and here you can choose your DPI, you know, 300 DPI is quite, you know, for print, or you can just make it 1000 by 1000 pixels. We will leave it at 1000 now just for example purposes. But if you think your quality is going to be too low, obviously you can make it larger. And then we create. So what happened here, Zara created a bitmap and placed it in my document with this dimension that I said. My vector object is still here, so it's not, you know, it hasn't been converted to a bitmap. I still have it, look. And now I want to use this bitmap to fill my object, which is the main reason why I started this whole thing anyway. So let me make this larger. So this is the object that I want to fill with my pattern. Very simple. All I have to do is just go to the fill tool and at the top, instead of flat fill, which it is now, it's a flat color fill, I drop down and choose bitmap. Zara uses the default bitmap here, but I need to change it, obviously. So you need to go to this drop down here, and this is going to show you 
all the bitmaps in your documents. And you can see the bitmap that we just created here. And at the same time, you can go to the bitmap gallery and you see it right here. So you can drag this on your object. So what Zara did, it, it just filled my object as much as it could with this bitmap. So we're not done yet. This is not repeating. It's just one copy. So what you can do is you need to go back to the fill tool. And because this object is selected, you notice here I have some handles. So I can pull these handles to resize my fill. And, you know, you can turn it around, rotate it, make it larger or smaller. Let me just add a, an outline to my object so that we can see where my object ends. So it's right here. So my fill is still not repeating. So the final step you need to do is go to this drop down here, which says, yes, your object is, you know, filled with a bitmap but what type of tiling do you want? So by default, it's single tile, which means my bitmap is going to just be one time included in my object, or I can say repeating tile. And there you go. My object has now become a pattern and this resizing still works. So I can make it as small as I like, as large as I like, I can rotate it. So then at the moment, you can't even see what my initial pattern was because it's so seamless, because it's a square, it repeats perfectly all over. So this is very nice. This is all it takes. You basically need to create a bitmap from the object you want to make a pattern and you just use it as a fill. You can do this with even with other bitmaps. So you don't have to actually draw your object. I mean, if you want to draw your object, you know, you create some very nice flowers or vector flowers or so. You can fill those, you can create them as a bitmap and you can fill with them, but you can also use an existing bitmap without any problems. So I'm going to make a new document here and I'm going to import a picture and we will use that one as a pattern fill. So I imported this picture I found on Unsplash. It's a flower and I can use this as it is, as a repeating pattern, but I actually just want to isolate this beautiful flower from this picture and use this as a fill. So, you know, sidestep from this tutorial, I'm actually gonna spend a bit of time just cutting this flower out and isolating it from its background. Okay, so I've done a quick job of it. I'm going to combine this with my background image intersect like this. So all I have is the flower. I, I do like to cut my objects like that with the shape tool because then you have very, very nice and sharp edges. So anyway, this is my flower and I want to use this as a repeating pattern on my object. Let's just uh, make an object made of text you know, just write a nice, a nice text and uh, use that uh, flower to fill this text in here. So I'm going to make this a very big fat font. Like so, so we can see our fill pattern. And this is my bitmap here. I'm going to just scale it a bit. Maybe not. I don't know. doesn't matter. So this is my flower right click on it just as i said before create bitmap copy again it's asking me what size do i want it to be notice that because my object has no background now it is png and it has true color plus alpha which means the outside of my flower is actually going to be transparent so if i choose 1000 pixels here you notice it's not necessarily square Again, that's not a problem. Even if it's not a square, it's still going to work. It's still going to repeat. And uh, you, you're just going to have a bit of a asymmetry there, I guess. So create the bitmap. There it is, my bitmap. It's indistinguishable from the background. You, you see it here. So I actually don't need to keep these objects in my scene. Uh, this bitmap, actually, when I created it, it got added to the bitmap gallery right here.
So what I need to do is go to this flowers object, go to the fill tool, select bitmap fill from here. I'm going to select my flowers from the top. There you go. Now it's filling the object one time, but I actually want to make it smaller. It's still one time. So I'm going to go and say repeating tile. And now my flower repeats. If I zoom out more, you will see my flower just repeating on my object like so. If I go down uh, very, very small and zoom in, you see my flower pattern is filling my object. One note though, if you don't want your object, your patterns to be so close to each other, what you can do is you can take your object again and surround it. I'm just going to zoom out, surround it with a square, just make a square or maybe a rectangle. It doesn't really matter um, like that. Put it in the background and also um, leave it selected, center your object on it. So you see, I've added some margins to it. So this is kind of the space that's going to be around my image. Make it without a color. So click on this box here to remove the color. The object is still there, but it doesn't have a color anymore. It doesn't have a fill. Hold down the shift key and select your flower and then right click and create bitmap copy. So what you're doing now is you're creating a bitmap copy from the flower and also that invisible rectangle around it. Create. You see it now here. You see the boundaries of the object are actually far away from the flower. So if I go to my flowers object and zoom in and I change from the fill tool, I change the bitmap to the new one I did. You notice now that my fill has a distance around it. Maybe just make a outline. Okay. So what happened here is that invisible rectangle around my flower is actually keeping the distance <laughs> between them. So this is how you achieve a non, uh, you know, so the, the, the fill bitmap in your fill doesn't touch the next one. And another one, uh, another thing I uh, want to show you is you notice that the flower is in the same direction. If you change repeating tile to repeat inverted, the flowers alternate orientation. So they kind of uh, reflect in, in a mirror every time. So they're facing a different direction. So this is how you do it. And uh, you can resize it, you can turn it around. And the nice thing is because we have transparency on our flower, whatever I do in the background, will actually see through. So if I put a background on this, you can see that I can see the color behind it. So whatever I do, my bitmap will repeat only and it will take only the space that it the bitmap occupies. Everything else is transparent because of the alpha. So there you have it. This is how you create patterns in Zara Designer Pro. You need to take your object or your pattern, your shape, whatever it is, convert it to a bitmap and then use that bitmap as a fill using the fill tool. And then you change it to be a repeating tile and you adjust the size, adjust the spacing, anything you like. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you do enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. See you next time.